In this video, I will teach you step by step how you can make this character by character pop up text effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. So the first thing we are going to do is make sure the timeline is 60 frames per second. So I'm just going to do it 60 frames per second and then save. Now, let's click on titles and add a text class effect. Then just, I will just type in character by character like this. So now I'm just going to adjust to my liking. Great. So now I think the text effect looks good. So I'm just going to go back on the text and then I'm going to right click and click on follower like this. Now we're going to go into the future page so the first thing we're gonna do is go on to layout and choose frame instead of point when we choose frame instead of point it basically doesn't cut out any of the characters so now i'm gonna go over to text again and then click on modifiers now i'm gonna go on transform and then i will just open the size and then i'm gonna keyframe the size at zero and this rotation c and then i will go 10 frames ahead like this and keyframe everything again also now i'll go back to frame zero and then you can go ahead and drag it up to about 17 like this and then then you are just gonna drag down the size to zero rate so now we just go into the spline editor and if you haven't opened it it's up here click on spline and then it will open and then you're just gonna click on zoom to fit then you're gonna mark everything like this and then right click and choose ease and out cubic great so now we have like a basic intricate but we're gonna make it have a little bit of a bounce the text effect so we're gonna drag up this one a little bit like this and then we're just gonna do the same with the other thing this one one of them is the x size and the other one is the y size so we're gonna do the same thing thing for the angle c and then i'm just gonna move these by clicking on them and then i'll just drag up this a little bit like this so it will have this kind of a bounce effect looks awesome but yeah if we play it now as you can see it pops up in the same time and we don't want that to happen so we're gonna add a little bit of delay to it i will choose around two i think that's the sweet spot but you can play around with it i'm just gonna do two let's let's play it looks pretty good i think but we can still do more we are gonna go back to tools then go settings and then just click on motion blur yeah, I think this look awesome. So if you learned something out there, please make sure to subscribe and like the video. See you in the next one.